Hi, I'm Lucy Bloom and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be chatting about how to make origami paper pots. I really hope you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe if you do. All right, let's get going. So today I'm going to be using newspaper, but you can use normal printer paper if you'd like. You just use something like two A4s and just staple them together or use masking tape, cello tape, anything like that. There's only a couple differences between the materials. Newspaper is biodegradable. You can just pop it out as soon as the seedlings are big enough, just put it right into the soil. I tend to maybe put a couple holes at the bottom just to make it easier for the roots to grow. But if you're using printer paper, it's a little bit harder to break down. It's a little bit less biodegradable. A Especially if you're putting stuff like sellotape or staples on it. I wouldn't recommend putting that in the ground at all. What I'd do for that is literally just remove the pot. Like I said, today I'm using newspaper, but the rules of the folds, the rules of the origami are exactly the same for both. So just follow along regardless what you're using. So here I've got my bit of paper. Just to say before we start, if you do find yourself a wee bit lost, look to the top left of the screen you're going to see a number. Then scroll down to the description of this video and it will give you written instructions as to what I'm doing. So with this bit of paper, what I want you to do is just naturally fold it over where it usually would fold. Perfect. Step one complete. Then take the bottom of the paper and bring it to meet the top of the paper. Easy peasy. Just firm up that fold there. Bring it back down again and we're going to do it again. Just flipping round make the sides meet each other as well, firm that right down, then unfold and you've got yourself a cross. That's perfect but just so you can see it in the video I'm going to make it a wee bit clearer just with this pen here. There you go, that's your cross, then flip the bit of paper on its side so you've got the bit of the paper that's attached towards your body and the loose part away from your body. Take this corner and bring it up to meet the cross or, you know, as close as you can possibly get it. Firm that up and do the same on the other side. And then firm that side up a two. Okay, now the top of this, the loose part, I want you to get that and bring it to this arrow shape. Easy peasy. Then we're going to do it once again, just folding that over again. And as soon as you've got that all firmed up, it's going to form this kind of party hat shape. So there you go. You've made your party hat. The next thing we're going to do is flip this all around. So, like I said before, we've got this cross shape, just because I've got the pen here, I'm going to make it a wee bit more obvious for you. We're just going to be using this fold, I'll make it quite thick, but just so you can kind of orientate yourself, I'm going to make this one clear as well. Alright, so looking to the right hand side, we're going to bring that side of the paper over to meet the cross and then firm it up. We're doing the exact same with that side, so just take your left hand side of the paper, bring it to meet the center. And firm that up as well. Okay, so now we've got a wee bit of a house shape on the go. I'm gonna take the bottom of the paper and bring it to meet that part of the lip. So this is one of two similar folds we're going to be doing. We're just going to bring it round again. So that's two rectangles. And just firm it up. When you've done that and you're confident that's all firm enough, we're going to unfurl it. Now as you can see, this fold right here, one we've made previously, is a kind of creasy foldy thing but there's another one underneath it so it's two folds. We're going to take this part here, this envelope, 
and fold it right in. So we're going to tuck it in there into both of those folds. This is probably going to take you a wee second to do, just to say, because it's a wee bit fiddly, a wee bit pernickety. You can see me doing it there. There we go. Just make sure that's all nice and tucked. That's all nice and firm. Perfect stuff. If it doesn't look perfect, ah, you're fine. Voila, that is nearly done. Now, bring the top of this triangle just to meet the bottom of this hat shape. And the shape we're going to be making here is a kind of, well, rubbish looking envelope. Firm everything up. Yep, there we've got our envelope. Unfold it, spin it round. Exact same on the other side. There we go, firm that up. Right, super duper. We've only got one more fold left to go. We're going to spin this round just so you've got that half diamond shape. The bottom of this, we're going to bring as close as we can to this corner. Now, I've not made the best job of this, so it's not going to go all the way. Typical, that's fine. Just firm that wee bit up there now. That one needs to be quite a good fold. I'll show you as to why in a few seconds. Well, that's you done. Perfect stuff. You're just going to open it up from the top because you've now made this kind of envelope shape, this kind of uh, this opening. And go right in the corners and try and get them all pointed out. That there, that kind of lip, is the last fold we made. Just make sure it's all nice and down. It's going to take a wee bit of a battering to get it in a good shape, just to say. Just give it a good punch. You'll be all right. And go right in the fold. My one right now doesn't have the best shape. It's a wee bit in the kind of ski whiff side. That's totally fine. It's still a wee nice wee box. As soon as I get soil in it, it's going to retain its shape a lot better. And that'll definitely do to put some plants in. So there you have it. How to make your very own origami paper pot. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you have. And have a nice day. Bye.